after last night's game against Binghamton, the Marlies have moved three kilometers east to host the rematch today at the Scotiabank Arena for the first of four games as part of their Scotiabank series. Well, Eamon McAdam, who starts in goal for the Toronto Marlies, his first start on home ice. But at the far end of the ice, you've got the veteran in 30-year-old Eddie Lack, who's starting here for Binghamton, two and two on the season. Mason Marchment. A good attempt. The backhand comes up and out, and now a chance back the other way. Blake Piedelay and alone the shot. McAdam, he got it, didn't know where it was, followed up, and it is cleared off to the corner by Sandin and Moore. Here's Ramit, long shot into the feet. Picked up Brooks, got it awkwardly, but he gets it to Marchman. Cuts back through the middle. Mason Marchman with some space, scores! Mason Marchment again continues to show that he's got the ability with that long reach to make terrific plays. And he holds it out and then brings it back and he goes around the defenseman Colby Sissons and then he rifles one by the left leg of goaltender Eddie Lack. And at the end, you feel maybe a little bit bad, but you know it wasn't going to last. <laughs> Long shot, that one nearly got through, and it does on the second attempt as it is tied up by the Binghamton Devils on the power play. And the penalty kill woes continue for the Toronto Marlies that is evened up, turning around low verdict. It comes loose. Timoshaw thought he had a chance to whack it in, but he hit the player and now racing down the left side. Shot right on, followed up, but McAdam plays it along to Timoshaw as Spears gets a good chance. Now Moore on a run back the other way. Cuts in Moore, shot off the goaltenders. At both ends of the ice, the goaltenders have to come up with big ones. Well, these teams trading chances and showing some speed. Timoshaw on, and now Moore as well. Glenville, long shot, scrambling to pick it up is Eamon McAdam, and he does just that. Well, seven games in a row now, they've given up a power play goal. Glenville reels it in as they back up. Bronco got caught out of position. Up front scores, Glenville, as Jeremy Bronco trying to cover the middle of the ice. The man goes to the outside, and Quenville puts the Devils up 2-1. Rocco drifts up the boards, comes back out, and now Timishaw looks in. Mueller tries to jam one in at the line. Rosen picks it up. Timishaw, Rosen with a block, scores! Pound on the main menu. It is tied up here at Scotia Bank Arena. Well, and Kelly Rosen with six assists in his last seven games coming into this one. Gets his second goal of the year and couldn't come at a more important time as he absolutely gets all of this on the one-time shot as he beats his countryman, Eddie Lack. Here's Mueller. Back up to the line again. Mueller, side of the goal. Bronco there. Back to Mueller. And it hits the side of the goal again as Marchman. Boy, he's got feet that act like sticks. <laughs> he just keeps kicking it about. Here comes a shot by Mueller. And he ran into some trouble at the end of it. But boy, that was as close as it gets. With 15 seconds left to go, it comes loose. After it, Rosen out of the corner. Round behind Mueller. And Moore were trying to connect there as Mueller was heading to the bench. And and he just wanted that one extra chance at the end of it. We need to cross the line. Brooks having a look at Quenville. White. Back over is Rosen trying to track down that puck. Back through the middle. Shot right on. Rebound. McAdam just puts it over to Brooks, and he's crushed for the boards. And Brooks stick. McAdam plays it around to Rosen. Here's Grunstrom. Up by he's looking for Marksman on the break. Marksman! Scores, 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 Mason Marksman in overtime, and the Marlies pick up the extra point and the win here at Scotiabank Arena with 120 left in overtime. Wow, what a goal by Mason Marchman, his second of the hockey game. He opened the scoring and then he closes it off, but a little 
Heads up play by the goaltender to negate the off the icing call. And Marchman comes off the bench and a terrific pass. He's in alone behind the defense of the Devils. And Quinville tries in desperation to take him down. But what a great job by Mason Marchman to put it up and over the glove. And the Marlies with the extra point.